Hi friends, here in this video, I'll explain the law of parallelogram of forces. Now this law states that So here I have written the statement of parallelogram law of forces. It states that if two forces acting at a point on a body are represented in magnitude and direction by two sides of a parallelogram. So I will draw the diagram along with it. If there is an irregular shape, any given body. On this body there is a point here and there are two forces which are represented by the two sides of the parallelogram and these forces should be acting at and away from the point. So one is force P, other is force Q. Now we need to complete this uh, parallelogram. Here also we have force P, this is force Q. So now as per the statement, the two sides of a parallelogram then the diagonal passing through that point through the point where the forces are generating from that when we pass a diagonal that diagonal would represent the resultant force that is we can replace forces P and Q by this single force which is shown here with the help of this green line and that is the resultant force it means the resultant force would be a single force that can be replaced uh, that resultant has replaced the forces P and Q. Now the angle between both the forces P and Q was theta and the location of the resultant with the first force this angle is alpha and that is nothing but the location of the resultant force denoted by alpha. So as per the definition of the resultant it is a single force which has the same effect as the combination of forces. So whatever is the effect by the combination of P and Q that would be replaced by a single resultant force acting at an alpha at an angle alpha with respect to the first force and by the parallelogram law of forces resultant force is given by the formula. I will write the formula here R is equal to root of P square plus Q square plus 2pq cos theta and since it is force if p and q are in terms of kilonewton then resultant would also be in terms of kilonewton and similarly if they are in newton resultant would be in terms of newton next the location of resultant that is alpha is given by the formula tan inverse q sin theta upon p plus q cos theta and here the unit of alpha would be in terms of degree. So by this we have understood that if there are two forces and that is also the limitation of the parallelogram law of forces that it is applicable only if two forces are acting on a body and that too they should have a common point of contact. If the point of contact is not common, that is not concurrent, then we cannot apply the law of parallelogram of forces. So in short, we have seen this video regarding the resultant when there are two forces, also called as law of parallelogram of forces. At the end, if you will find my videos helpful, you all can like, share, comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends. Thanks for watching.